very good video there. I've just discovered you because I saw a comment on on somebody else's channel. Um, I think it was the Five Awesome Trannies or something like that. And you wrote a very good comment and I thought immediately, wow, great. So I came to your channel and I've just watched your one video and um, and I will watch more. But the one video I did watch, what was it called? Uh, yeah, Men and Women Are Different. Yeah, I've just watched it right now. Now, you see me as a man, right? Okay. Wrong. Not a man. Uh, but I'm not making you wrong because I think you're extremely wise and you, you hit some really good points. <clears throat> it's just that your the whole sense of your video is just um, I excluding people like myself who are hormonally imbalanced males. Yeah, and there are plenty of people in the world that are hormonally imbalanced, uh, and they're not just females. Um, you know, and uh, as an XXY chromosomed person who doesn't produce enough testosterone in my body naturally, had to take testosterone for 13 years and has stopped over the last year and a half. Uh, you know, I have to just, you know, kind of pull down what you said on, you know, the whole thing of males and women, or males and females, you know, it, it, it just doesn't, it's not working like that, it's not just males and females on the planet. Uh, so, what you said at the end of the video, if we could all just realise that we've got different brain mechani mechanisms going on and different... Uh, fluctuations in our hormones and blah blah and if we could understand just the differences between males and females and respect that that it's not a competition no but it, it's about we're trying to educate the world uh, about people it's not about males and females I mean I know everybody will argue with me on that for the rest of the, for the next 10 years but the truth is we're not just dealing with males and females because males were technically in scientific terms supposed to be XY chromosomes okay and females are supposed to be XX chromosomes. But as you know, or you should know, it is that, that, and I don't mean any bad in that at all, those words, I don't, I'm not getting at you, you know. Uh, but, you know, th in scientific terms now, there are plenty of female-looking type people who are actually not of XX chromosomes, yeah. And equally, there are loads of male-looking type people that are not XY chromosomes, okay. And it's not just about chromosomes. It's about uh, gender in the brain, how you feel, how, how you perceive yourself, and how others perceive you. It's completely different. Obviously, we all know that. It's never going to, you know, that's never going to probably change. You know, like how, you know, when we look at somebody, a stranger, and we sum up what we see from them and how they're acting, and we judge them generally on, oh, that's a male, oh, that's a female. You know, and nobody still, not nobody, but rarely and not enough times do we consider that they're actually not just a male or a female, you know, that they're actually maybe in between the male and female, you know, which is what I am. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people um, that I'm talking to on YouTube on this subject, and it's, it's, it's a highly sensitive subject. Um, but you, I have to say, brilliant video, and, uh, you know, keep it going. You know, I, I, I'll do more video responses for you because uh, I could talk to you. You know, you're level-headed, you're, you've got great points, um, you, you say it nice and calmly, um, you know, and you seem like a lovely person, so, uh, and you speak very like my mother. <laughs> and I, I was a feminist as well myself. Uh, uh, until I realised that I was XXY, and I realised, ah, oh, I'm not a man, you know? It, you know, genitals down there don't, uh, you know, uh, correspond to the sex of a person. You know, they just don't, because then you've, you've got to think about hermaphrodites, you know, who've got both sets, or whatever, you know? And so, so if you could do another video, on on the same topic, but including including the the um, you know the, the other people like myself that are not males and not females, you know. And again, in scientific terms, the doctors would say to me, "You're nuts. You're a male. Shut up." You know. Uh, but you know it can't be like that. So I think in order for the world to get to a better stage of understanding, acceptance, and respect of people and the differences and the individuals of the world, then we need to start back down to the basis and ask ourselves what 
are the different types of sexes and genders in the world, because certainly it's not just male and female. It actually goes, it's a huge spectrum of, to of types. You know, so instead of blanketing it all as just males and females in a huge variety of differences, we should really just be thinking that they're just people, they're all individuals, we're all different. There's no, if you ask me, there, there are rare cases of people who are 100% male uh, in their behaviour um, and uh, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying. And um, so I think we need to, to, to discuss males, females, all sorts of things. The transgender people are the people who are changing from one sex to another sex uh, through plastic surgery and hormones. I understand it. I think it's again another um, escape f from from the, the 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 society's expectations that we're all supposed to be males and females, when in fact, um, some of us just cannot and will not uh, naturally fit into those boxes of male and female. So that's one thing to really it's a huge point, but we really need to think about that point because uh, we're never going to actually get to a, a stable relaxed society environment until people realise it's not just male and female. I think I've waffled enough now, I think I've made the point about three or four times. That's an XXY trait. But uh, please Google XXY, will you? And then Google X0, Turner Syndrome. Turner Syndrome, Kleinfelter Syndrome. These syndromes don't even incorporate the other spectrums. Like, let me give the last example, the Kleinfelter syndrome, what I technically have, being XXY male because I have a penis and balls, you know, uh, is um, it, they don't talk about um, XXY females. There is no mention in that whole, in, in anything that you read on Kleinfelter syndrome, they don't mention anything about XXY females. Yet I've met and talked with an XXY female on YouTube. So uh, they do exist and that is a huge problem that the doctors and the medical institutions are not clearly um, giving the real picture. They're, they're, they're labelling people like myself as having a disorder, as being a defect, as, as, as being an abnormality. I absolutely think it's the evolution of the species. I've often said um, uh, that, you know, I feel that me included, but the intersexed, natural intersexed, uh, and maybe unnatural, well, we can't say that, but the, the natural intersex people like myself, um, you know, we are, and, or, or could be, excellent referees, referees in the war of the sexes. And let's be clear, it has been a war of the sexes. And let's also be clear that it has been great that the feminist movement actually initiated and met, followed through with their plans and actually got equality. You know, it, I mean, we're not still seeing absolute equality, like there's still pay differences between uh, the sexes, you know, on certain levels, but, you know, women have, have come up, and I'm so happy for women, you know, uh, like for the woman type, yeah, let's be clear. And, uh, you know, I'm so happy f for them, uh, but, and as you say, yes, males don't have, you know, uh, it's diff It's changed now, you know, w women, uh, men can no longer grab the woman by the hair and pull them back and say, I'm, I'm desperate for sex now, do you know what I mean? Like, and, ju and just, you know, uh, do you know what I'm saying there? I hope you do. Um, and, and women can vote and women have r rights, basically, whereas before they generally didn't have rights or enough rights. And so things are changing and it's lovely. Uh, and even, you know, gay people, homosexual people, um, even though I would consider myself a lesbian, and you're going to have to go with that because, you know, there are many people like myself who would consider ourselves to be lesbian if we had to be something, you know. And, yeah, uh, so it, there's a whole huge amount of things to, dis to consider, you know, uh, 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 when we're talking about males and females. We can no longer... Um, uh, um, um, presume that it's just males and females. We have to accept that there are more than males and females. Okay, now I've waffled. Bye, peace, ciao.